Oh. China fucking sucks. Dude, that's rough. Wait, so so you can close. abandon your kids and cash in later? That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, why, that's why you have kids. That's my retirement plan. Yeah. Oh, I should have fucking gave birth to fucking Taika in China. All right, so there's this there's this woman. She's 29 year old. Uh, her name is Zhang. She's from Guangzhou in southern China, and she was abandoned by her biological parents when she was two years old. I don't want you anymore. And has no relationship with them whatsoever. Oh <laughs> damn. Uh, she was reportedly sad. abandoned as her biological parents could not financially support her. Oh, I want oh, you, but I cannot afford you. Yeah. And they rarely contacted her throughout her entire life. No mobile phone. Never a guy. There's always a woman. It's yeah. usually a woman. Yes. It's usually a yes. woman. But they're more cuter though. That's what I'm saying. When you have like a cute little boy and a cute little girl, like, how can you even get rid of any? But then if you had to choose, boy is sometimes easier. Yeah, but then they think about... <laughs> but maybe the girl cries too much. Maybe so even though they're cute, you're like, eh, too loud. Well, I, you know, obviously in the traditional Chinese culture, the, the boy will carry on the family name. So you know, the boys make more money. Yeah. In Game of Thrones culture as well. Um, so Zhang was Classic raised show. by her father's sister. And consider her uh, consider her aunt family uh, her aunt's family to be her biological family. Oh, so she got abandoned oh. to her family member. Yeah. So it's her. her that father's... ain't real abandonment. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That's a lateral move. Yeah. That's a lateral move. Yeah. Yeah. Just, like, just switching departments in the same yeah. company. Yeah. <laughs> and she didn't build too much emotional. She was in marketing. Now she's in HR. <laughs> it's all good. good. It's They're all both right. equally important. You got the same 401k. Yeah. Dude, she might have got a better deal. Yeah. Might have been a better fit. Yeah, it's like she went from fucking Sony to Samsung. She's yeah. still in Sony. She switched so check stands. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude. So when when Zhang recently used her, obviously she's now 29 years old. Good for her. So when Zhang recently used her savings to buy her cousin an apartment. Wow. Damn. She used her, her savings to buy her cousin, who wow. wishes, How nice. which is her aunt's kid, so it treats them like a sibling. Wow. Like a brother or a sister. Real siblings right? wouldn't do that. Her biological parents reappeared in her life. All of a sudden. And they yeah. said, actually, <laughs> can I get one too? And reportedly demanded that she buy her biological brother that they kept an apartment as well. Fuck so you like, man. they're like, Fuck surprise! Why surprise. would I buy my cousin a house, dude? That's a gigantic Fuck you, man. Wow. So it seems, right? In the so traditional seems. Italian speak, how about these fucking nuts? Yeah, son? tell them. <laughs> Buy these nuts in apartment, yeah. huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, unfortunately, we all know that things are a little bit more complicated, okay? Nah, what do you mean? No, we don't. Simplify this shit. The world is black and white. Yeah, this is simple, dude. There's no brown and Asian, just all black and white people. Get me a pied de terre while you're at it. <laughs> dude, he went up on that. <laughs> After Zhang refused, her estranged parents filed a lawsuit against her for 500,000 yuan in parental maintenance. You could do that? So they've been paying. <laughs> parental oh maintenance? Gosh. Can do that. The court ruled that although Zhang is not obligated to buy her brother an apartment, because that's baloney, good, good. she must negotiate the amount with her parents and pay the parental maintenance fee. What the fuck is that? Under the Civil Code of China, adult children have a legal obligation to support their parents regardless of estrangement or abandonment. Ooh, China, wow. damn, that's the law. Uh, Wait, Regardless is, of abandonment. You said this is Taiwan? This is China. Oh. China fucking sucks. Dude, that's rough. Wait, so is, what is the obligation? The obligation- So you can abandon your kids and cash in later? That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, why, that's why you have kids. That's my retirement plan. Yeah. Oh, I should have fucking gave birth to fucking Taika in China. I'm gonna be a Chinese citizen. You could just have a bunch of abandoned kids. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking investments. Or what? Dude, because that means the Chinese athletes out there are fucking crushing it. Because they're like, I don't have to pay child support. And then at the end, they're like, my retirement's coming soon. <laughs> Under the civil code, just to repeat it, the civil code of China, adult children, children have a legal obligation to support their parents regardless of estrangement or abandonment. Okay, so support, just support in general. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, this probably also came in a similar time frame as like China's like one child rule. So it's not like people were just pumping out kids knowing that if I abandon like right. 10 of them, they're going to support me legally. Later. So that grandfathered oh, okay. into the age of having multiple I, I kids. I would assume that uh, I'm just saying 
thing in terms of the entirety of like the perspective of things like it was bunked around the same true yeah, that's right. a good point yeah um but still that that is a very unique thing that we as asian americans look at and are like holy fuck like getting abandoned and that's that's a lifetime thing like you have to support your parents like uh, she's got to kill her parents dude because that morality is based on culture how we're supposed to basically be our parents' retirement plan. Yep. But to me, it doesn't make sense if you are am abandoned. Yeah. Because the whole concept is you've been taken care of. Yeah. So then now we giving back. Now give yeah. back to those who helped you. But then if they haven't fulfilled the first part of the nah. contract, why do you have to fucking fulfill the last part? My parents fulfilled the first part. I still don't want to take care of them. <laughs> 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 That's why we live in USA, baby. Yeah. It's gonna be an American, Fuck you, bro. mommy <laughs> and daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, how, like, if they could take this to court and then they're like, your honor, I present to you case one. They didn't do jack shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, so this is how much I owe, jack shit. And then the China, Chinese judge goes, granted. No, but, then, but defense attorneys or, or the plaintiff is like, no, they didn't. They did do shit. They made you, and then they lateral moved you over lateral to lateral. my yeah, sister, yeah, the auntie. Yeah, yeah. So you okay. had an upbringing because they were being responsible in knowing that they couldn't take care of you. Yeah, that's what the defense or the fucking uh, prosecutor's first line would be. Define abandonment. <laughs> oh! But then it's like, okay, if you're gonna force your estranged daughter to pay up, what about your bum ass biological son? Yeah, why the fuck he what the to fuck buy his own house? house? Yeah, Maybe they need to abandon him so he could be a little more fruitful. Yeah, and they kept him thinking that he was gonna be the breadwinner. But why does he need an apartment? He's a little bum. When he's a loser ass bitch. He's a loser. She, she did it on purpose just to be like, I'm gonna buy you a thing, but not the parents. Oh. To say fuck you. Oh, that so then that, that triggered yeah. them. That is a gangster fuck you. Like, that could be it. Oh, for, for sure. Your cousin, for the sake of spiting your. Uh, my real yeah. brother. Yeah, for sure, do that. That you shit know, hurts. You know what's kind of cool though? Like a silver lining thing is that they. It's not gender biased that they think only the men are gonna grow up to make money, so the law applies to the women as well. That's kind of cool. That is cool. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's just probably not by design. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean to do it, but I did it. <laughs> I just forgot. <laughs> oh, this applies to the lawmaker. He's like, yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> I love even in China, they're Italian. <laughs> I mean, obviously, Weibo, Weibo users, uh, the Chinese social media users, express outrage at the court's verdict. Um, people are saying like quote no support but asking for support really unacceptable other people are saying don't you feel guilty for not picking up your daughter or raising her you should compensate your daughter for the, uh, for a sweet yeah you fuck face they and they had to leave yeah. her for like the rest of her life they couldn't come back in like two years or something they couldn't circle back and I mean they're relatives uh, right like they don't even visit each other <laughs> like the fuck is that That's sister man it's just a weird family yeah they're odd huh do they live really far away like I need to know more of this story and then to come in specifically only when a house is bought for the cousin, therefore it's like, whoa, 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 whoa you gotta buy one. Hey, but yo, if yeah. that's families, that's fucking true to life. Like, you know when like a family member dies and all of a sudden people come out of the woodwork oh, that uh, never vultures. bothered you Dude. ever? And now they're like, yo, I need a cut, I need a cut. Vultures, and you see man. the darkest side of your family. I'm yeah. so fucking glad that we weeded out all the fuck faces of our families. Yeah, that shit happens, man. Yeah. Cause I kind of want that. I kind of want that because I imagine myself saying, fuck you, get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> or like leaving a, sh a petty will where it's yeah. like, where it's like, no, you don't get shit, motherfucker. <laughs> but I can't do that because I love, I really love the You're remaining. You're a man of love, yeah. The family members that I have remaining, they're fucking amazing. Mm. So I'm wishing that one can be a little shit so I could like attack them, yeah. but I can't because they're all oh, cool. Yeah. <sighs> Such struggles. <laughs> Don't you hate when Japanese family members are so cool? Don't. <laughs> don't you hate it when you have like this loving, constructive group of people that just don't give you that bullshit that other families do? Yeah, Fuck, dude. But that's that is a truth. It uh, yeah, yeah, it does. does it does happen though. You could put that in your will where you're like, this nephew only gets this much from me if he crashes his car into this nephew's house, and then this nephew only gets this much money from me if he crashes his car into that. That's nephew. cool. Have really creative stipulations. Yeah, have a battle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then now they have to That's crash each other and create drama. Yeah. <laughs>
I like that. That Shit, actually sounds really top. fun. That's a cool TV show. It's like story have... tours, but instead it's like reading of wills that have the zaniest requirements. <laughs> the zaniest. <laughs> Zany, dude. You like crazy contingencies in them. That would be tight, yeah. I, have, I bet um, you're going to have some shit, huh? I, I have people who, in my family that are, that are going to control my account that least want it, that are the most honorable, and they are not motivated by money. So those are the people that are chosen to do it, that just so happen to be financially smart, but unmotivated by money. That's tough. Who are these people? My nephews. Wow. They are samurais, man. Yeah, yeah, cool. dude, they're samurai code. Until right? you die. And then they're ninjas, dude. <laughs> and then they're ninjas. <laughs> they're like, I was your niece all along. <laughs> <laughs> That's the twist. That's the payoff. I don't know. I'm on the deathbed, you know? That's a blackface. <laughs> <laughs> leave it in, leave it in. <laughs>